the jewel. Devon Dino, a smart dino with blue smooth skin, a slash weapon known as a longsword, has first aid techniques. He has the power of water. Dino, a silly goofy dino with yellow bruised skin, a blunt weapon, an example, one-sided axe, has the power of earth, rock. Dunon, a dino that has, that meditates, he is calm, wise, has purple fur, skin, power of ice, and bash weapons. Dono, red rough scales, rough with others, quiet sometimes, thinks highly of himself, power of fire, and stab weapons. Finally, we know what we are. Thank you very much. As I was saying, the four dinos and Devon went outside for some fresh air and sun. They decided to play a game of dodgeball, even though there were five, Devon was going to be a referee. Devon blew the whistle. Give me a second. Devon blew a whistle. They were about to start throwing the balls. Dodo said, Stop! No, stop! Something's coming. I can feel it. Dodo grasped his dragon's tooth that had been stabbed in a tree. Dino got his laser slatter out of the ground. Dino jumped in tr into, up into the trees and pulling on his pound axe, out of a hole in the tree. He pulled it and had lost his balance, causing him to slice the, bran the branch with the pound axe. He was start he and he started to fall. He dropped the pound axe while falling. Dino broke Dino's fall. Dino looked up and saw the pound axe heading towards them. He and Dino rolled out of its way. Dono sighed and lunged to the falling weapon and caught it in Mendare and landed with a flip. Here, don't be so foolish. I feel it. It's getting closer. Devon was thinking about how awesome the dodgeball would be, but in his mind, he had the sound of a car crashing. What a disappointment, he thought. What does it do now? Don't know. I'm... I'm not sure. Suddenly, he opened his eyes, and pulling on his bash, bashing blade, out of its sheath. It's here. Out of nowhere, they heard whistling. Devon, stop blowing the ref whistle, said Dano. Devon wasn't even paying attention. The whistling started growing louder. Dino looked up and saw a pinkish creature falling from the sky. Hey, there it is, and whatever it is, it's out cold. The four put their weapons in the ground, ran inside, and came out with four blankets. They each tried, they each tied one end to four trees and tied it tight. Devon was shocked at their teamwork. The four dinos then brought out Devon's giant gold fish pillow and set it inside. The creature was two seconds from colliding with the ground, but the creature had stopped right above it and laid horizontally in midair. Then it laid down in the net, into the net. Man, I was hoping that creature would fall faster, said Duno with disappointment. The four dinos took all the pillows and the blanket in. Oh, and let's not forget the fish. Devon conscious creature and set him down on the bed and tapped on his forehead. Well, really, it's a spear with a face and two feet, with a cap on, but but the color of his, but the color of from pink to gross green. The creature woke and yawned 
and suck Devon's hand in. The creature spit out Devon's hand. Ew, that's just eh. <laughs> said Devon while claiming his hand. What are you? asked Dano, curiously. The creature's voice was low and sickening way. I'm Ruby, a jewel, said the creature weakly. You don't like jewels. You don't like any. You don't look like any jewels, said Devon. The four dinos looked at him worried. Okay, I'll shut up now, said Devon. May we give you something to eat? Yes, please. And, uh, that. The hair is thin now, The voice also wasn't the same tone. What was that? I don't know, said Ruby, not having a clue what just come out of his body, just said. Vaughn entered with eggs and bacon with sausage. The creature sucked it down in his, in his mouth, with the plate not even chewing. The dinos and Devon looked at him strangely. Whoa, that was awesome, said Dano.